All right, y'all, welcome to me doing my hair part a million. Um, so this is me corn rolling my hair, doing some little straight bags, trying to look like Cleo from Set It Off. Um, I'm really blessed and thankful that my mom taught me how to braid hair. For all y'all who don't know how to braid hair, I'm like, you must have not had no Cabbage Patch dolls when you were growing up. This is me putting the cap on. So I want to remind y'all that I am not a professional whatsoever. I'm just tired of paying these young ladies $150 to $200 to install a wig. So here I am gluing the cap down. I make sure that it dry all the way and I'm using these dirty scissors that I didn't dipped in glue. I didn't burnt up. I didn't probably had them for about 10 years now. Now I'm going ahead and putting the makeup on top. This is to blend it in and make it look like scalp. So then I'm going to go ahead and spray again. Now, this whole point of this method was to protect your edges, but as you can see, mine was still peeking out. So now I'm going to go ahead and try and push this back. Now, I have no idea how to plug, so it's giving really... It's not giving hairline, but you know, I'm doing the best that I can. Now I'm using this stick. This stick is from Misfit Beauty Supply. I have plenty of supply. If you guys need one, they're on sale for $10. And I'm going to go ahead and act like I know what I'm doing um, by hot combing. Now it's giving a little bit of scalp here. Y'all can't lie. It's giving a little tiny bit of scalp. Um, I went ahead and did that. And as you can see, my edges again is poking out. Hair is giving me hippie vibes. Um, and yeah, I'm not feeling it. I'm looking like Lola Rabbit and right here I'm looking like Joe Dirt and yeah I really messed this wig up but you know better next time I guess